Hi guys, thank you for watching my video. Um, in this in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what I use when I go sea fishing to keep me catch fresh. So you can buy these like fish bags uh, from tackle shops that have got like this material inside to keep your catch fresh. Uh, I mean, they're not exactly cheap. Them bags, uh, they're like ten to like twenty quid. Uh, I think they call it a fish bag. Um, I'm gonna tell you a cheaper way of doing it for a couple of quid. So I went to Aldi and. When I were there, I seen a bag. I thought, okay, that bag looks all right. Let's have a look. So I got the bag from all these. This one here. I'll open it up. So yeah, this bag. I mean, you can get them in this color. You can also get them in green as well. Um, I'm not sure what the green one's got, but the bag itself is actually brilliant. Um, I'll show you. Um, it's quite thick. You know, it's quite strong, and. I am going to actually show you the inside. Uh, to do that, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to put a bucket inside. So I've got one of these buckets which I usually go when I go fishing. So this bucket I use to put loads of water in, uh, fill it up with water. And then what I tend to do is uh, when I'm baiting up or, you know, if my hands are dirty, I'll just rinse my hands in there, get a towel, dry them off. Uh, there's nothing worse than you know, touching other equipment with, with your dirty hands. Um, and obviously if I catch a fish as well, and you know, I don't want to be leaving it on the beach too long, I can just grab the fish, chuck it in there, you know, at least I've got a bit of water, uh, if I'm going to be releasing it, let it rest up a bit, and then I can take the fish out and chuck it away. And I've got this to put all me, me tackle and bits. And I've also got a chopping board as well chopping board so on this chopping board i've got all the sizes of all the fish uh, what are the legal limits to take um i did have actually if i can show you i did have this measuring tape which i glued down with epoxy uh glue but it's come off that shows you how strong sea water is because i have been rinsing inside the sea water as well uh but yeah um that's that chopping board so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come back to you in a couple of seconds okay so i've opened the bag up and as you can see it's from going quite flat you know if you open it up it does actually get quite big i mean i can get my whole bloody hand in there um it's quite it's quite big that and yeah i mean you can see this bucket it's not exactly a small bucket is it uh, right inside there as well there you go let's put that handle down and I'm just going to close this up now, so if you just bear with me, uh, I'm just going to turn the camera off and I'll close it up so I can show you. I'm trying to do everything with one hand here, so I don't want to be boring you, me struggling, try to close this. Okay, so the bucket's gone inside, um, you can see this material, it is, um, sorry going back to the material, it is uh, insulating material, so a couple of ice blocks in there will be perfect. Uh, you know, to keep your bait or your catch fresh. Um, you don't have to use it as a fish bag. You can use it as um, a bag to also carry your bait in there as well. You know, that's a big bucket in there, as you can see. But you can put a smaller bucket as well. Just close this down quickly. So that's all close the uh, buckets inside there. You can see, uh, see what it's like. Um, Yeah, fits okay. Bucket fits okay in there. And there's still plenty of space in there as well, you know, to carry all the stuff. Um, you know, I just thought I'd show you this. You know, I'll just share this tip with you guys uh, out there that are looking to buy a fish bag. Don't waste your money on, you know, spending £10, £20 on a fish bag. Um, obviously, if you're a tackle tart and you want to match up your Sonic fish bag or your Daiwa fish bag with your Daiwa rod and your Sonic rods, <laughs> by all means, go ahead, go ahead and do that. Uh, but, you know, if you're not bothered about, you know, uh, what sort of a fish bag you've got, because at the end of the day, this, you know, it is going to get dirty. It is going to get smelly with having your fish in there and you having your bait in there. So, you know, having something cheap and cheerful uh, like this will be ideal. And I think this is quite robust. I've used this already about two, three times. And to be honest with you, it's okay. Uh, I mean, even if I get, 
you know, 10, 20 uses out of it, I'm more than happy. I've only spent, you know, a couple of quid on it. I can always replace it. Um, but yeah, that's my tip for you guys anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Tight lines.